is here. And this is me again. Take what it looks like when it's cooked. Mm. Kind of sideways. Have to talk like old man. <laughs> I don't know why I do. <laughs> oh my goodness, y'all. I literally. It feels like I haven't vlogged in forever. <laughs> I had a lot of like spooky videos that came out and I literally didn't have space on my phone. Like I even buy extra iCloud storage and I still didn't have enough space on my phone. And it was like a whole bunch of craziness. Um, but now that I've got like three videos out, I've got a little bit of space on my phone to start vlogging. I like missed you guys, even though you can't talk back to me like through the screen. I love reading your comments and I know you guys love the vlogs and I just missed talking to you. But um, I've been working a lot lately at Starbucks and I just got, no, I did not just get home. I did just get home from Walmart. My brain is, yeah. Um, so I did work earlier today. I got out, I cleaned a little bit, got the kids off the bus. Then I just ran over to Walmart cause I'm like running out of just like hygienic random necessities. So I figured I'd show you guys what I got because I'm actually super excited. I got a couple of new ish things. So I've been wearing makeup a little more often lately. So I needed some makeup wipes, but I wanted to make a better choice. So I got the Burt's Bees Micellar Facial Towelettes with rose water, which I love the smell of roses. And this was the only one they had, so I'm really glad. Um, but this removes your makeup, it cleanses, and it hydrates. It says they're limited edition. You get 36 pre-moistened moistened towelettes, so it's like extra 20%. Um, and it says it's made from repurposed cotton. And uh, let's see, ingredients from nature. Leaping Bunny certified, responsible sourcing, um, recyclable, made without parabens, phylates, or SLS, or petrolatatum, or something like that. So yeah, just like one of the healthier ways that you can have makeup. Remover wipes, I know people don't like when you use wipes because it's like wasteful or whatnot, but it's just so much more convenient for my lifestyle, honestly, but I do try to make a better choice. Um, like I've said previously, I like to buy healthier options like this so that the stores know that those are getting sold and they are wanted um so i needed that because i've been wearing makeup more and then i also needed some adapalene gel normally i get the different gel um for my acne i don't know if it's like my medication that's giving me some more acne but like i've got a little bit on my chest it's like nothing too bad but you can feel that it's like rough bumpy skin um, so I've been doing my benzoyl peroxide wash on my chest and on my face and that helps it a little bit But just to take it a step further because I do have like my acne is like really tough Um, I always use the adapalene gel which uh, when I used to have a dermatologist, that's what he said use Benzoyl peroxide in conjunction with the adapalene gel, which is like a topical retinoid and it just works so so well and I haven't bought it in a while because I was trying not to have like as many toxins, you know, toxic chemicals on my face. But you know what, guys? I don't like having acne. It hurts so bad and it ruins my confidence. And it makes me, you know, want to put makeup on because I want to hide the fact that I'm like have all these red spots, you know, especially on my chest. So I went ahead and got another adapting gel. This was cheaper than different gel. If you go to Walmart, they have this brand. It just says AF Dermatology inspired care um the ingredients are the same but it was 9.97 for this it's the same amount 0.5 ounces and the different gel was 0.5 ounces but like 13 dollars so you'll save three bucks and i'm really excited i found that one because that's expensive for like it's like a little tube i needed some sensodyne toothpaste because y'all know the teeth struggle and i was trying to use this toothpaste with no fluoride which is great and if i didn't have sensitive teeth it would be great because i don't like fluoride i can't i don't know if this has fluoride in it but i assume that it does 
yeah it does have fluoride so i guess because fluoride is an anti-cavity but it's funny because i've used fluoride my entire life and i have cavities like up the ass you know what i mean but so that's why i was trying to like give up fluoride but my teeth are way too sensitive you guys like if i eat sugar if I eat anything slightly crunchy, my teeth hurt and it's just, I can't live this way. So I have to use a Sensodyne because it does work. Unfortunately, it really does. Fortunately, unfortunately, it really does work. So I got the Sensodyne Pro Enamel this time. It's intensive enamel repair plus whitening. Um, and it has cavity prevention. It repairs weakened enamel for stronger, healthier teeth. I just had to do it. I hate all the pain that I've been in. I have a lot to tell you guys. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. Um, I also needed more mouthwash. I've bought this twice before this Thera Breath, but the green bottle, they actually have like four different colors, I think. Um, the green bottle is just like the run of the mill regular one for bad breath. It's very healthy for you. I checked it on the Yuka app. It's like really, really good, non toxic stuff. This is a good brand, you guys. But I didn't realize. They actually have an anti-cavity oral rinse. So I was like, I might as well get the anti-cavity one because I need to help with my cavities. And um, it's the brand that I love. I just didn't realize they had this one. So it says Healthy Smile Oral Rinse fights cavities for 24 hours. And I thought that was cool. Like throughout the day, it's going to help me fight the cavities. It strengthens, strengthens teeth, improves appearance, and freshens breath. It helps rebuild weakened tooth enamel and reverse early tooth decay. No alcohol, no artificial flavors or colors. And so I thought that was awesome because if I have any like little baby cavities starting, this could help reverse that. Obviously, if you have a bad cavity, like there's nothing you can do except for go get it filled. But, you know, this could help me moving forward. And y'all, it's a really hot pink, like a really cute hot pink. And it matches my bathroom. That's not why I bought it. I bought it for the cavity part, but it's a plus that it matches my bathroom. So that's pretty cool. Um, then I also needed some like just cleaning spray. Earlier, I was cleaning the bathroom and the counters. And I was like, oh, I'm like almost out of spray. I was gonna go to Dollar Tree because it's cheap. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna check I'm gonna check Walmart I'm gonna see if they have like a healthier counter spray um so this is the great value lemon verbena all-purpose cleaner it's tough on dirt and grime and it says final product not tested on animals so I guess other parts of it are tested on animals I don't know but it's a it says safer choice USDA certified bio-based product 26 fluid ounces, you guys, this was like $2.97 for this bottle of cleaner. Non-toxic to humans when used as directed. No added chlorine, dye, or parabens. The bottle is made of 100% post-consumer recycled plastic, readily biodegradable formula made without formaldehyde, phylates, ammonia, synthetic fragrances, and triclosan. Tricl I can't say that. Anyways, the ingredients are listed here. I won't bore you, but it's a short ingredient list, which is, we all know, way better. Um, and the fragrances come from plant-based materials, so essential oils and stuff, I assume. But yeah, this is a better choice. And it's awesome that Walmart has their own brand coming out with like healthier products. But how is everybody? How is your um, spooky season going? I know like... <laughs> half of the world's like spooky season it's not even october um for me it's like half over <laughs> okay like september and october is hardcore spooky season to me and i'm like sad that um we're almost half over and that's just how i perceive it okay that's how i perceive it but anyways um i hope y'all are doing well i hope y'all are enjoying the content and i need to start dinner because i'm starving you guys, this dinner was so good. So simple, but so good. I got some white rice with a little bit of butter in it. Vegan butter, of course. I've got roasted broccoli. I've got some mushrooms that I sauteed in soy sauce. And then I've got kimchi. If you don't know what kimchi is, it is a Korean like fermented spicy cabbage. Sounds weird, but it's so good and it's really good for your gut health. What's up? Look at how cute this is. I love it. I'm going to do a mask. I'm kind of annoyed. Just like ticked off. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it, girl. But just kind of annoyed. Sometimes when I get annoyed, I come up here to be by myself. 
and I put a little mask on. It's been a while. So I'm going to try this one. It's by Love and Hemp Hemp Seed Oil Collagen Face Mask for Rejuvenate and Brighten. Very slightly. It says not to put it around the eyes. But yeah, I bought this a little while ago. It's like a healthier face mask. It got a good rating on the Yuka app. And I haven't used it yet. It just feels like lotion. I was like looking at it like, watch it be lotion. <laughs> no, it says mask. It says mask. Yeah, not crazy. Not crazy. There's actually a lot in this package. Like, I don't think I need it all. I mean, I guess I should put some on my neck. We definitely want collagen on the neck. Yeah, I don't think it's like one of those ones that hardens. I think you, it's just like hydrating, you know, collagen. So it says to leave it on for uh, 15 to 20 minutes. Good morning. It is Friday and I don't have to work at Starbucks today, so that's cool. Um, I forgot my glasses upstairs. Both sets of them. So my eyes feel weird, but I just wanted to drink my coffee and I was being lazy and I don't want to go upstairs because after I drink this, I'm going to go upstairs anyways to change. So I'm just going to get them then. So for today, I'm so excited because I'm finally getting a haircut. Um, so I'm going to be traveling probably about an hour away to go get a haircut but i'm gonna go see my friend who's a hairdresser right y'all i stopped uh to bring the bag of clothes to my co-workers i also brought them a bunch of tampons because i literally had like a whole box worth of tampons and even though i feel like they're toxic and you shouldn't use them you know you can't change other people's minds and they still use them so i figured to save them some money i'd give them my tampons because i don't I'm never gonna use them. Uh, so I got a drink and I got a hot one because it is cold over here in New England, y'all. Today, the high in where I live is gonna be like 55. Right now it's 48, like it's cold. I have leggings on, I've got my spooky Crocs on with socks. I've got this cute flannel that I got from Walmart. If you missed that haul, I will link it at the end of this video. I did my makeup just to feel cute today. I'm feeling really cute. I like needed this boost of confidence. And I love to do my makeup for when I get my hair done because uh, then it's like you don't know how the hair really is going to look cute if you don't have your makeup on. You know what I mean? Like you might get your hair cut with no makeup and be like, oh my God, I look like shit. But really, it's just like you that looks like shit. <laughs> is that rude? That's so messed up. But like, that's how I feel about myself. Like, I'm not, I'm not saying like, I'm not saying that other people are ugly. I just, I, that's how I think about it for myself. <laughs> I think that's so funny. But anyways, uh, yeah, we are headed out. It's gonna take about an hour to get there, but it'll pass by, it'll pass by quickly because I'm gonna listen to my uh, alternative rock playlist because that's just my spooky season playlist. Um, it's got like Metallica. It's like all different kinds of rock, like metal, um, there's like metal, there's alternative rock, there's a bunch of stuff on there. Um, kill switch engage, stuff like that. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so I got my hair done. Um, I know it's hard to see the cut because she curled it, but basically all I asked for was I wanted to keep the length as much as possible, just trim like a tiny bit off the ends, like if anything was dead or whatever, just like a little bit off the ends. And I asked for like medium to long layers and a face frame that blended into the layers. Um, yeah, that's all I asked for. Just like nothing crazy, but just like I want some movement and stuff to play with when I style my hair. Um, I don't know what my shortest, I feel like she only, I think she only did long layers though. I feel like we don't have really like short ones. Yeah, I think she only did really like long layers, but I love the face frame that she did. 
when it was like blown out and like straight it looked really cute and I know that I can style it like a swoop so those looked really good a lot better than the last haircut I got I think that was like when we first moved into our house I got a haircut if you guys remember that vlog and the lady cut it so short way shorter than I asked for and then I asked for curtain bangs and she cut those like this freaking short and it was just a hot mess and then so when she was going through my hair right now she was like I don't know what this lady did to you <laughs> and I was like I'm saying I'm saying but anyways uh, we'll we'll be able to see it more when I just like give myself a blowout and stuff like that after I wash it because I don't know I'm not really about the curls right now in in my opinion I'm just not really feeling the curls but I want to do like a lot like I want to do like blowouts like 90s blowout kind of vibe you know where it's like very flippy and like round I guess that's how I want to describe it <laughs> but yeah on my way home now people are being crazy on this highway right now um, this is the first time I've driven on the highway in a little while I think yeah it's been a little while I guess since the leaves started changing so they're not all changing yet but like there is a lot of trees already changing you guys there's like some yellow there's some red and I just like can't even believe we're at the end of September like what is life morning I have my work cut out for me today <laughs> so I got a planner I struggle so much with organizing my brain. I wanna be more organized, I wanna take it more seriously. So I got a planner and it had to be a certain kind of planner that um, works with me. So it's a big one. It looks like just a big spiral notebook. It was on clearance at Walmart. Um, I think it was on clearance for like five or six bucks. Cause I know planners can get expensive. It's really cool, so it has the obviously the month planner and I'll just show you like an empty page <clears throat> so it's got the month here and that's exactly what I wanted spread across two pages I like a big calendar I want to be able to see it big <laughs> yeah I just need it so it's got that and then it has like notes and things to remember and then you flip to the tab weekly planner and it's got all of these where you can take the week into a bigger section and kind of like write details about it. So the week of, you know, whatever the Monday is, you write it there. And you can like have a bigger space here of like, this is what I'm doing Monday, you know? Uh, there's notes, chores to buy and to remember here. But there's a lot of these weekly planners and that's just where I'll write the details of exactly what I plan to do. Um, then there is also there's positive stuff in there. This is heck yes. Um, like a note area. You could just write anything you wanted. Um, there's also a sketch area right here. Just plain paper for sketching. And like if you had any, any ideas or something or just relieving stress. And then they have this like dotted paper at the end. So I've been using this so far so good in the past. I suck you guys. In the past, I've literally got planners and, you know, spent the money and like got them all set and just don't even use them and forget about them. But I really like, I really work well with like positive reinforcement. And sometimes, actually a lot of the times, I have to give myself positive reinforcement because... It is my small business. I don't have a boss telling me great job. I don't have a coworker telling me great job. So um, I like to write down the tasks that I need to do and I like to check it off because it just makes me feel better when I check off from a list. It actually motivates me to want to accomplish even more because I'm like, look at that. That's done. That's done. I could even fit in 
this or that today, you know what I mean? So today's agenda is I will be filming two videos for a brand for a collaboration. If I have more mo motivation after filming and editing today, I would really like to finish organizing my closets because it is, I did get a, I did get rid of a huge bag of clothes. So that's awesome. I got rid of some clothes that just don't even fit me. Things that I've had for a year or two that I just don't even wear. So why am I keeping it? And I did put away a box, like a Tupperware box. What do you call them? A storage container box of a bunch of clothes that I am going to want again, but don't need it right now. So I want it out of my way, out of my closet. So it's not like cluttered. So I put that in a box in my hall closet. So I have way less. I have probably 50% of what I had in my closet. So it should be a lot easier to organize. I just, it's so hard to think of like a way that's going to really work with me because I've told y'all before, the best way for me in my brain is closets with rods because I like to just flip through everything and I'm not messing it up when I'm flipping through hangers. But when you're looking through stuff that's folded, most likely if you're like me, you're not gonna fold it and put it back, even though you should. So that's the issue. So I'm thinking like somebody told me on here, why don't you get the little cube organizers and put the stuff in the cubes? I could have like a tank top cube, a t-shirt cube, a long sleeve cube, a pant cube, you know, so on and so forth. And I was like, I guess I could do that. I don't like the fact that I can't see it. But what's the difference? Because I'd have to go inside and like flip through things anyways, right? So that's the only thing I've got. So I'm going to try it. I'm going to see if it works. I think I have some extra cubes that I'm not using. But that's my plan today besides dishes. Because dishes is just like an everyday thing. <clears throat> so that's my plan. Um... And then I wanted to upload this vlog today, but I have a couple more things I wanted to show you. I think I brought them upstairs, but I have a couple things I bought on clearance from Walmart. Also, I attempted to give myself a blowout yesterday with my round brush. And um, <clears throat> then I slept on it. So here's <laughs> here's what it looks like because I slept on it so obviously it's like not that great because I slept on it <laughs> but yeah it feels a lot it feels so much healthier it feels good the haircut feels good it feels like your regular long layer face frame 90s cut early 2000s cut you know what I mean but I think I do want to go back and get more layers um i'm probably gonna wait a little bit but i think i am gonna ask her to give me some more layers because i think i wanted some more volume up here um because i don't like when it's just like a bunch of volume down here like if you curl it if you curl my hair like the other day you guys saw it's a lot of curls and roundness here but i want more here and i want the layers to pick each other the layered pieces pick up the other pieces so it's like you know va -voom up here and that's kind of what I'm looking at, like thinner down here, but boom up here. That's kind of the vibe I'm going for. So once this grows out like a tiny bit, I'll probably, I don't know, I'm impulsive. I'll probably ask her to put some like medium layers in that maybe are like this short. That's what I'm going for. I also have a slight urge to get a modern shag, but maybe when my hair is like a little bit longer though. Do you guys think I would look weird with a modern shag? Like with the bangs that go like this. You know, like the, what is it called? The windswept bangs, curtain bangs. Yeah, I don't know. Feather, feathered bangs. I don't know. Sometimes I see those and I'm like, they're so pretty. And I kind of want them. But then I'm like, will I regret having bangs? Because I'm very much the type of person that's like, get this out of my face, you know? So I don't know. But I have very exciting news to share with you guys. I can't believe I forgot this. Um, so my in-laws are actually moving to Massachusetts uh, at the end of October. 
and it's happening a lot sooner than we anticipated because we knew they were going to try to move up here like that was the end goal because they moved to, te to Texas because of us because we moved to Texas and they wanted to be you know with us and with their granddaughter so now that we've moved back you know it's like why they're like why are we over here you know what I mean so they've been wanting to move back we want to help them and we we love them I love being around them um my mother-in-law is awesome I can spend all day with her and I love it I actually I actually get along with her way more than my own parents and I can spend so much time with her and be honest with her. And we just have a really good relationship. And I'm like really thankful for her um, because it's just different with my own. Um, but my in-laws are great. Like I'm very blessed with my husband's family. They're really good people. So they're actually going to live here with us in the house and they're going to pay some rent. And what our plan is, is we're going to take the rent and we're going to, make our shed because I don't know if I've shown you guys the shed but our shed is huge maybe like 12 foot by 24 foot we're gonna change the shed into an in-law suite or like guest house and that's gonna be for them until they can like get on their feet and get their own place so that's the plan uh, we have two living rooms you guys know that we've got the guest room back there and it's kind of separate, you know, so they can have their own space to chill. The only thing is we have to share a kitchen and a bathroom, obviously, but I'm excited. I think it's going to be great. The kids are going to have their grandparents around. They miss them so much. Um, we're going to get date nights again because she is more than happy to babysit the kids and be with the kids. So that's amazing because like, you know, me and hubby used to go on dates all the time. I don't know if y'all remember when we lived in San Antonio and stuff. But it's been really, yeah, not many date nights because we live like hours away from family over here. So it's it's just tough. It's just tough. But anyways, it's going to be great. It's just going to be all around beneficial win-win situation. I'm really to have them back, especially in time for the holidays. Um, I can work more because she's going to be here and she wants to watch them. So that's great. And it's just, it's just going to be good. I'm very excited about it. So I want to show you guys what we've done. Yesterday, hubby and I got really motivated. And we're like, let's just go ahead and do it. So we switched around the living room furniture in this living room. And it looks so much better, you guys. Okay, please don't mind the laundry. I need to bring that upstairs. But this is like my front door area. I know you guys don't see this a lot. But like dining room, front door area that is the stairs to go upstairs this we put a curtain rod up and we put some curtain ups so curtains up so that we could have like some separation and they could have some like privacy if they wanted um but here is what it looks like let me turn on the light so if you guys remember that couch was there but this couch was over here in front of the fireplace so what we did was we put it here. At first I was like, is that going to be weird that it's like in the middle like that? But it's really not. You have enough space to access the cabinets and the shelves. Um, and I think it looks so much better this way. We have this extra ottoman. It's amazing that we have so much extra furniture that we could basically make this side like a little apartment because <laughs> we already had this, we already had the couches, already had the rug, um, already had this side table. So I put that there for them. Um, we have so many throw pillows and then we already had this uh, credenza, which was in the other living room, but it really wasn't serving a purpose. It was really just being our catch all and we were just tossing all of our stuff at the end of the day on it. So. I was like, let's bring it in here. Let's make it the TV stand. Yes, we are covering the fireplace, which is a little bit sad, but we don't use it. We're not going to use it. And I think this looks amazing. They can put a little mini Christmas tree there if they wanted their own Christmas tree. Um, and then you guys know that that's the guest room. We've already shown you that. What we will be doing uh, once their stuff gets here is we're going to be putting a queen size bed in there. I know there's a twin 
and we're probably going to take the twin upstairs for one of the kids. Um, so there will be a queen in there and we've measured it out and there's just enough room to walk to the closet and walk on the other side. Not a lot because it is a smaller room, but it's going to serve its pur purpose and it's going to be great. So I know the kids kind of made a mess. We had them clean this up a lot. This was like such a mess. But yeah, that's that's what it looks like, guys. I think it looks so much better. It looks like a real living room. It looks cozy and I'm so proud of the work that we did. Okay, so this is our living room, right? Like kitchen, living room. So this is where the gray credenza was at. And I ended up just putting this big chair here. I got this for my dad and I refused to get rid of it because it's like a huge chair. And it is so comfortable because of how big it is. I love this chair. Um, I, I absolutely love it. It feels like a throne and I won't get rid of it. So usually we have that with the ottoman, but the ottoman doesn't really go here because it would be in the way of the walkway. So we're like, oh, perfect. They can have an ottoman for their couches. So we just put the chair here, you know, it's kind of random, but it's also just provides extra seating for when we're hosting. And then also when we're hosting, we can take the ottoman from the other room, set it right here. And then we've got another two seats. So that was kind of the thought process. I kind of want to get like a little table right here. And maybe put a plant or something. I don't know. So the thing that I didn't tell you guys that I was like, oh, I'll tell you later what was going on is I, I don't think I've mentioned it yet. I went to the doctor to ask them if they could take over my prescription, my antidepressant prescription. I was using Cerebral, which is like $85 a month. And we're trying to cut our bills down. Winter's coming. I know that sounds so like Game of Thrones, but winter's coming. Oil is expensive. Um, property taxes went up. Electricity's going up. It's like doubling. Things are expensive. Um, so I was just trying to like cut back on things. And therapy is very, very important to me. So don't worry, I'm not going to not have therapy. But I found out that through Starbucks, I have a lot more discounts than I thought I had. And I actually have a discount for another counseling website, so it's free. Um, I think you get, I don't know how many sessions a year, like like 24 sessions a year or something like that. So that's a free counseling. I'm going to use that as my therapy because it's free. And then my doctor, my primary care, took over my prescription so that I could leave Cerebral. So that's great. But also we upped my prescription from 150 to 300 because it just it wasn't giving what it needed to give in the beginning I really felt like it helped me I really felt motivated I just I felt like I could do a task and finish it and concentrate on that one task except besides like going and starting all these little tasks and like not finishing anything that's <laughs> so it's been working for me. The other thing is that I got prescribed some medication for my back. I've been dealing with such bad lower back pain and then like kind of upper back with neck pain. I think it's a lot of stress. I think I'm under a lot of stress. I think I work a lot. I think I put a lot into this business. Um, my doctor even was like, is your business worth the stress? You have to weigh the pros and the cons. And I was like, I refuse. I refuse to give up YouTube. I do work a lot and I feel like the stress is just like in my muscles, in my back, in my neck, and it just builds up. And then I'm just in back pain all the time. It hurts so bad. So I took like this six day steroid pack. It helped when I was taking it. And now this is the first day of not having any of the pills cause I'm done and I have back pain. And I woke up with neck pain and I'm like, I'm not going to keep being on medication. I don't want to live a life where I take a million pills every morning. Um, they also sent me, they also prescribed me a muscle relaxer, which I'm only going to take on days where I'm like, oh my God, I literally can't sleep because I hurt so much. So just like emergencies. Um, but I think what I need to do is I really need to get back to exercising. I need to do yoga. She said if I strengthen my core my back could be better and more supported and wouldn't hurt as much, which, yeah, I'm really out of shape. So I, you know, makes sense. Um, so I need to kick it into gear and do that. I just really don't want to. I'm just like not 
in the place where I want to exercise. It doesn't sound interesting, doesn't sound fun at all, but I need to do it. I'm just about to do my makeup and start filming for the day, but I wanted to show you guys the clearance I found at Walmart. Um, I found a Maybelline lipstick and this is the cream lipstick in shade 144, Naked Dare. It was $2.96 down from $5.48 and I love me a nude lip. I just love me a nude lip and I love their formulas. So I wanted to pick it up. I haven't bought a lipstick in a while and you guys know that's my favorite. I did run out of an eyebrow pencil and I know I have this one that my mom gave me, but I don't like it. it there's not enough pigment for me, so it's just really not my favorite. So I got this Neutrogena one because it was on clearance. It's a nourishing brow pencil and it's in the shade Brown 30. It says it's designed to provide a matte finish. It blends easily, easily for a smooth application. There's a spoolie brush. It was originally $4.26 and I got it for $3. So like not too crazy, but I mean, if I need makeup because I'm out of something, I might as well get it on clearance and pay full price, right? So I've never used this one before. Um, it's like a pencil pencil, not like a retractable, like it's a coal, but it looks really nice and I feel like it's going to be really good. Um, then I got the CoverGirl Exhibitionist 24 Hour Coal Eyeliner. It was $7.94 and I got it for $4. I needed a new coal eyeliner because I've been using a brown one and I need to force myself to throw this away. This is... This is like... I think a wet and wild one or something all the labels is worn off this is like five years old and i don't know why i'm still putting it on my eyes that's like so bad <laughs> um it's probably gonna irritate my eyes like what am i doing anyways so i wanted a new one that was brown this is black but whatever i like black too that's totally cool and ooh, it is a coal pencil as well and it looks like it's gonna be like really really pigmented i don't feel like putting it on my hand right now but yeah it looks really pigmented so that's good i also found this china glaze at dollar tree I started painting my toes again but not my nails because i can't because i work at starbucks but um maybe if i have some days off in a row i could i used that vegan silver nail polish on my toes but i just saw this one and i just thought it was a really pretty purple glitter color for spooky season i couldn't help myself what else did I get from Dollar Tree? I feel like I got other stuff. Oh yeah, I got a new pair of tweezers. These like iridescent tweezers from Dollar Tree. And I also needed a new eyelash curler and they didn't have any. Like this one literally has like a, a slit cut in it because I've used it so much and there's like so much crap on it. Um, and since they're a dollar, I like to just change them out frequently. They didn't have that one, but they have this one. And this one actually works. It's a compact one and it like folds up like this. And then you put your lashes in and it actually works really, really good. It curls them a lot and it does come with an extra one in here. I think this is an extra one. Like right here is one of those extra pads. So yeah, I got those from Dollar Tree. Just wanted to show you some things I picked up and I made myself a second coffee for the day. So I could really be pumped up to film. Thank you guys for watching this vlog. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, and give it a thumbs up if you did. I will see you in the next video. Bye.